Defense News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SCF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 30th of May to 12th of June. They paddled, cycled, ran, and tried their hands at a whole host of challenging activities in between. For these NS men and their families, it was a fun-filled day at the first-ever Safra Pongol Waterway Challenge. It's a wonderful day, together with like, my children. Uh. Yeah, so it, it, I'm glad to be able to take part in this. Uh. Uh, we actually come here for, for the fun. You have some family bonding with my kids. Senior Minister of State for Defence and President of Safra, Mr. Ong Yi Kong, was also in the thick of the action as he paddled off with participants. Organized by Safra Pungol, the event was aimed at promoting fitness and bonding among NS men and their families. U.S.-China relations and the threat of terrorism These two security challenges will continue to take center stage in the world. That was Minister for Defense Dr. Ng Yang Hen's message during his plenary speech at the 15th Shangri-La Dialogue. The annual security summit saw some 600 delegates from more than 50 countries coming together to discuss transnational concerns such as terrorism, cybersecurity, and tensions in the South China Sea and the Korean Peninsula. A common consensus amongst those present was the need for countries to work together to achieve shared security goals. As we did in the inaugural Shangri-La Dialogue in 2002, we continue to meet to address the challenges that threaten our collective security in this region and beyond. I believe that the Shangri-La Dialogue continues to be a useful platform in our crucial endeavours. Dr. Rung hosted 24 ministers and their representatives to a ministerial luncheon where key security issues were discussed, particularly the global threats of terrorism. We discussed what the problem was, the challenge of it, how we needed to tackle it with uh, shared intelligence, with better communication, with uh, joint resources, as well as uh, to tackle sometimes the root cause, which is obviously harder. Dr. Rung, along with other representatives of the Five Power Defense Arrangements, or FPDA, also reaffirmed their commitment to the FPDA and its importance in the region's security architecture. At the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue, Dr. Rung met with his counterparts and military leaders from other countries, including China and the United States. Singapore and India will cooperate even more closely in areas such as bilateral exercises, maritime security, and defense science and technology. At the inaugural Singapore-India Defense Minister's Dialogue, Minister for Defense Dr. Ng Eng Hen and Indian Minister of Defense Manha Parikar pledged to enhance the bilateral defense partnership between the two countries following the revised Defense Cooperation Agreement, or DCA, signed last November. Our various services, whether it's Air Force, Navy or Army, have interacted very frequently, so it's not a new relationship. but. Coming on the revised and the enhanced DCA, we want to deepen, as Minister says, the complexity, the engagement uh, between our two militaries. India's policy has basically shifted from look east to act east, and we consider Singapore as a major fulcrum center for this policy to be initiated. A key component and key friend of India to ensure that a peace and tranquility remains in this region. U.S. Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter visited the SAF's imagery support group on the sidelines of the 15th Shangri-La Dialogue. He was briefed on the group's operations as well as the imagery analysis team's deployment to the Combined Joint Task Force headquarters in Kuwait, where it's currently contributing to the multinational counter-ISIS coalition. Dr. Rung and Secretary Carter later flew on the P-8 Poseidon aircraft over the Malacca Strait. The P-8 aircraft, deployed and based in Payalewa Air Base, promotes greater interoperability with regional militaries and supports regional humanitarian assistance and disaster relief and maritime security efforts. There's no country in, and no geography in the world uh, that compares to Singapore uh, for its, the importance it has in the field of maritime security, which all of our countries everywhere in the world depend on. So we're grateful to have a partner here uh, in that field. We have to come together to cooperate, to, to preserve and protect our global commons, and I think that would 
apply to the Straits of Malacca or South China Sea or any other water body that's critical for global commerce. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power 98 signing off.